Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the income journey. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the income report for my niche site. One site in particular that I started from scratch on a brand new domain about 10 months ago. I started it, I think at the very end of January, in around like the 20th, something in around there. So it's been a full 10 months now. November was our biggest month yet by far. It was a really, really good month for the site we're really growing much faster than i expected and hopefully we can still hit that 100,000 page view goal next month before the end of 2021 so let's jump in and take a look at how much we made this month if you guys do enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up we're trying to hit 100 likes on this video and hit subscribe if you're new here so as i said november first 10 months on the site Let's jump in and take a look. So a quick overview. November was a great month for site number two, which is my main site. And this was our biggest month yet. And that is due to multiple different factors. Site three is a site that I purchased kind of a little bit later on, maybe in March or April. It's still sitting flat. It's, you know, kind of a seasonal site that does better in the summer. However, I do kind of want to get rid of it. I'm not focusing on it. I don't like the niche. I think it's uh, a harder niche than the niche that I'm in. And I'd rather spend time in a niche that has much less competition that I can just dominate in versus trying to compete with the big players that already have a lot of authority uh, in the other niche that I purchased. So I've actually submitted that to Motion Invest for evaluation. And depending on what they give me back, uh, I will go ahead and either sell that or maybe just hold it into next year whenever you know the seasonality starts coming back and it starts making some money again so i'll keep you guys updated with that as well let's jump in and take a look at some numbers right here so this is side two last month in october we did forty-eight thousand views this month we did seventy thousand. that's a growth of 48 percent now that is a really really good growth trajectory if i could hit 48 percent every month that would be absolutely amazing however there was a couple of timely articles which really helped to contribute to a lot of this growth and while i expect to grow again next month and continue the upward trajectory in traffic uh it may not go up as much right it may kind of hollow out a little bit level out a little bit because some of them articles just won't do as well next month and we'll get a little bit deeper into that in a second but overall very happy with the month and i still feel there is the opportunity to get from seventy thousand to a hundred thousand page views uh this month which will again be a really really good jump it would probably be about the same about a 50 percent jump in traffic um so yeah looking forward to see what happens this month this is the search console so we went from thirty three thousand clicks to fifty thousand clicks from google this month really really good numbers there our click-through rate went from 2.4 to 2.8 very very good and our average position stayed at 12 which is fine as we're adding more and more articles to the site 1.89 million impressions nearly getting 2 million impressions a month now from google completely free which is kind of insane to me looking back a year ago I never would have thought of that. I was a paid traffic guy. I paid for all my traffic pretty much from Facebook. So it's really cool to see that we're getting like 50,000 clicks a month from Google completely free. Like on, you know, on Facebook, that could cost you 52,000 pounds a month, you know, that sort of money for that amount of clicks. So pretty insane uh, numbers there for me. But again, I want to be at a million page views a month by this time next year. So I have a lot of work to do, but I think it's definitely doable. So right here, you can see the kind of articles and the progression over the last three months. So September, October, November here, you can see we were on our top article hitting 1,700, 2,800. And then here in November, we have two massive articles, 6,000 clicks from a single article and 5,000 clicks from a single article. Now, there are definitely two articles that exploded and will not sustain that level of traffic into next month. One was due to a news event. This news event triggered a lot of searches for one specific article on my site. A lot of people hit that article. Uh, there was something happened where people wanted to do something and I had a tutorial on how to do that. And a lot of people went and read that article. Now it's still getting good traffic, but it will not have that massive spike that it did. And if we actually go back here, you can see like this particular days where we had massive spikes right here at the start of November. And then there's a couple here Then we had these two big days right here. I think that was the one specific news event there. Uh, and then traffic kind of trended down a little bit for a while, which obviously was going to happen as that news event died out. But things started to pick up again just organically, even when these articles weren't getting massive traffic. That's completely fine. All I really want to see is that my average traffic, you know, here when there's not anything viral or anything trending happening is up significantly from the you know the kind of start of the month the traffic i was getting at the start of the month that's where we want to see things go 
So again, you can see here, all the other articles are growing as well. Our top 10 articles are now all over that 1000 page views per month mark. And they're significantly past it actually. And a huge increase on kind of what we had last month. We're starting to get you know, quite a few 2000s creeping in here. These ones are pretty close to 2000. Whereas last month, we really didn't have that. We had a couple here that were just barely on the thousand uh, views per month mark. So really, really good numbers this month in terms of articles. However, there's definitely, you know, these two are pulling in a large percentage of traffic, but that's fine. You know, you're gonna have some of them and it, these articles will fluctuate throughout the year. Um, they are not articles that are viral for a week and they'll never pull traffic again. These articles will continue to pull traffic kind of trickling in. And then at certain times, the other big article that we had it will pull traffic in pretty consistently throughout the year, but just it might get 300 page views in a day and not get any for a week. And then it'll get another 300 page views in a day just because of the nature of the article. So it's kind of an interesting traffic pattern, but it does pull in consistent traffic over a monthly period uh, rather. And then there's certain months in the year that it'll pull in significantly more with November probably being the biggest month for that article to pull in traffic. Next up is our Amazon commissions. And you guys know that we've kind of been not really doing too much in Amazon commissions. This month, we had Black Friday, so I expected to see some significant Amazon commissions in here or significant increase. I think uh, in September, we did like $64. October, we did 113. Here in November, we did 234. So we're moving up. I mean, it wasn't anything massive or crazy. You can definitely see you know, the teal end here, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. We definitely did some more revenue than normal and you know the normal days of the month but it pulls in consistent traffic our amazon commissions are they're coming in it adds up you know it makes a difference for this site in particular 234 dollars this month not too shabby right here for our ezoic revenue this is our main revenue generator on the site you can see here we did nearly 1600 dollars this month with a 22 dollar epmv now this is about a six dollar epmv increase this month and I think that's probably just due to Q4. Didn't make any placeholder adjustments, didn't add any placeholders or anything like that. So I think that's just Q4. We're getting that boost, which is really, really nice. It's gonna be disappointing to see that disappear uh, as we go into kind of January. However, I'm starting to think that it's nearly about time I start applying for maybe Mediavine or AdThrive. I think they're about a 50,000 PHV requirement. We're at 70,000. The only thing I wanna do, I've read that some sites, you know, get rejected even if they have the page views. So what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of do an overhaul of my site in terms of the home page and stuff like that, just to make things look more professional. Right now, it's just a blog roll. You know, every time I, I make a post, it just appears at the top and that's not a great home page. It doesn't look professional. I've heard Mediavine wants you to look kinda of have like a, a really, really professional looking blog. So I'm gonna do that before I even bother applying. I don't wanna get rejected. So we're gonna do that and give ourselves the best chance at getting, uh, you know, accepted into Mediavine or one of those. And hopefully that gives us an EPMV increase. I've seen some people uh, suggest they get about a 40% boost with something like Mediavine. So hopefully that happens. If we do, then maybe we can even sustain our current EPMV into January, which would be really, really cool. Here we had some like huge days where we had $29, $30 EPMVs. Obviously, this is in around that Black Friday weekend, $32 here on that Black Friday. We had an $84 day combined with our commissions from Amazon. We had a $100 day, which is really, really nice. So that's kind of, you know, the growth here. Absolutely huge. Obviously, this EPMV, uh, obviously the revenue growth. So last month, the revenue was about $750 from Ezoic. So we more than doubled it this month. And that's a combination of increased traffic and increased EPMV. So there's kind of two factors there, giving us a force multiplier, uh, which allowed us to generate more than 100% increase in revenue. Hopefully we can sustain that this month. I'm not sure if we'll be able to hit you know, $1,600 in revenue in December. Obviously, EPMV should stay, hoping that it stays in around this $22 mark. Uh, we have noticed a drop off, definitely. I think we're currently doing about $47 a day. Uh, today's December 4th, so we'll see how things pan out over the month. But hopefully we can hit similar numbers this month as well. Next up is the YouTube channel, and there's actually been some nice growth this month. So we're currently at 721 subscribers. You can see this month, we pulled in 109 subscribers with 32,000 views, which is up 10 months from last month. And you can see 
we actually posted something this month. So I did uh, three videos and one live stream. The live stream was actually really, really good to pull in some subscribers to the channel. Once we hit 1,000, we only need 280 more subs. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we should be able to start monetizing the channel. I don't know how much it'll bring in, maybe an extra $100, $200 a month, something like that, if even, but if it did bring in something like that, that's a significant increase in revenue and another diversification, and then we can start posting more. If I was new, I was making money, every video I posted, I would post more and potentially outsource that content as well. It's just tough when you're not making any money for it to focus your time there whenever you know writing articles is definitely gonna produce some income. So. That's kind of the YouTube channel for now. I have invested in some products. So I've actually got products that just arrived. Uh, I'm just home, I was away for a couple of days, but whenever I was away, these products have arrived. I'm gonna make a video that I think, you know, it, it cost me a little bit to make, but I think it could pull in a lot of traffic and a lot of subscribers and potentially push us over that thousand dollar mark. So I'm gonna put a lot of effort into that video, try and drive subscribers to the channel. And then, you know, hopefully, we can then start monetizing and diversify a little bit. So on to articles on the site. In November, I pushed out 42, which was a little disappointing, but it was a, a busy month. I was running a marathon at the start of month in Barcelona. I was away uh, for a few days there. So I was running that, recovering. Uh, you know, at the end of this month, it was a lot. There was just a lot going on this month, just generally. So 42 articles, a little disappointing. That was me and a main writer, but it is what it is. It's consistent. We're still publishing pretty hard. Uh, so this month, again, is probably going to be something similar to that. However, uh, I do want to just continually push out stuff for my writers. So hopefully they can consistently produce content this month as well. But what I'm going to do this month, me, rather than writing a lot of articles, I'll still write a few, is focus on going through and improving a lot of the existing content. So going through, I haven't really done this since I started the blog. I'm gonna go through the stuff that's ranking positions three to five, try and update it, improve that content to push it up uh, into that one to two spot. And that can give you a significant boost in traffic and go after, uh, definitely go after some more snippets as well. So I'm gonna be trying to do that this month and updating anything that needs updated for 2022 so that I don't have to do that in January because in January, I really want to push content. I want to push really, really hard. Um, you know, after Christmas, after all of that stuff is done, you know, no parties, anything like that anymore. January, we can hit the, you know, hit the hit the road hard, start pushing out content, pushing really, really hard on this to try and scale this, you know, business massively. Start adding more sites as well. We have a couple of sites ready to go. Uh, they just need to start producing content for them. So there's a lot going on, and I really want to have a big content push January. February and March to try and, you know, one, just have a couple of sites on the back burner that are going to grow throughout that year and just get at least 30 articles on two to three sites in January, have them kind of cook in there, let them roll. We'll see which ones take off, which ones don't. And then we'll go after the ones that are good opportunities while still piling on a ton of content on this site that we know is working. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, I'll maybe do a full video on our plan moving forward in 2022 with this uh, kind of business here and see how, how it does. Three, I'm not even gonna talk about in this video. It did like $100 this month. It's kind of just sitting pretty you know, flat on traffic wise. Again, seasonal, not putting any work into it. That's kind of the update on it. That's really all I've got to say. Um, I'm gonna upload it again to Motion Invest. Hopefully, if they come back with a reasonable offer, it'll either get sold in the marketplace or I'll just take an offer directly from them. And then I'll probably just push that money into that content push for, for January. So that's pretty much the plan with site three. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet here, just at a few other numbers uh, that we can we can take a look at. So things are starting to you know really start to grow here. I like looking at the little charts. I like to see this go up. It will make me a little bit, you know, kind of down in the dumps if if this chart stops going up. Every month it goes up. That's rule number one is this goes up every month. So the revenue is probably gonna be tough to match you know, in, in December and January here uh, with the EPMV drop in January and obviously December here. I don't know if we can just sustain what we did in November, but we'll see. Hopefully traffic will grow and we will be able to, to keep pushing it. But let's take a look at traffic because it's more traffic's a better number to look at to see progress because obviously there's just you know, this huge, huge increase in ad rates here in the last three months, you can't really compare that to other months in the year. Once you have a big enough data set, you can look at year over year numbers, which is gonna give you a much better gauge, but we don't have that yet because obviously 
where I've only been doing this for a year. So next year, we'll be able to look at that. We'll be able to look at January compared to January, February compared to February. And even still, they're going to look really crazy because these months had nothing. But when it comes to November next year, we'll be able to compare and hopefully we're making ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month uh, next year. That's the plan. That's where we want to be. But we'll see how that goes. So this is revenue. Let's take a look uh, at some other numbers here, such as page views. We have 80, almost 80,000 page views, 70,000 here. You can see, again, just that ramp up. It's not like a hockey stick growth. I mean, it's nice, but it's it's consistent. It's just every month chipping away. We're growing, 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 which is really, really cool. And let's take a look at actual profit, right? Profit on the site because I'm investing in content. Not everything. We're looking at revenue numbers, and that seems to be a thing that people share in this business, uh, you know, even more than any anything else because it kind of makes sense because you can, Pretend, you can pretty much sell your site based on revenue. There's obviously some costs have to come out of that, but most places will allow you to exclude your kind of content costs from your valuation, right? So if you're making 2,000 a month, you pay 200 in you know other expenses, and then you pay 800 for content, a site or you know a brokerage will allow you some of the time to kind of take away that 800 and leave you with $1,800 profit, and you can base your multiple around that, and then you can sell. So that's kind of I think why people talk about it. But let's take a look at profit anyway, just so you guys can see, like investment-wise, could you do this? Because I've invested nothing in this website, really in terms of like upfront investment. You can see here the most we ever went negative here was $107 in that month, but we profit a little here and here, even in them first few months, minus 76 here in April. But even this month, with our content production costs, we still made a profit of over $1,000. So again, not gonna buy you a mansion or Lamborghini or even allow you to probably live for a month if you're in you know a first world country, but it's nice to see that growth. Last month, we had $331, we three times profit this month. Really, really nice, but we're starting to see some consistency and growth here in profit as well as revenue. Uh, so I'm really liking where the numbers are going. I'm liking where things are headed uh, with this, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let me know if you want to see more information around this because you know I built this up. It was pretty boring for the last nine months. Things are now starting to get to a point where we can really you know see some growth, see things doing well, and hopefully you know grow. Everyone I've spoke to says it's much easier getting from $1,000 to 10000 than it is getting from zero to 1000 and I hope they're right. So next goal is, I think $5,000 a month in profit is like a good goal for the site because that's pretty much, you know, what people can live on. That's a good wage, right? $60,000 a year, I think people can can live on, right? If you want to, to work online, maybe you want to move to... You know, some country like Thailand, where I live, it's very, very, it's very, very cheap to live compared to the rest of the UK. I need like two thousand pound a month to live. That's it. That's all I need. That's I don't live like a flashy lifestyle. Here it costs me like two thousand pound a month to live, and that's car, house, mortgage, everything all included. And you know, it's very, very cheap. I know some people live in, you know, if you live in California, and uh, you know, the uh, a shitty little house costs. 1.2 million and you can a mortgage is like four grand a month i don't know that's just that's insanity it's craziness i don't know it's completely different than the world that, that i live in over here in the uk um but yeah that's that's kind of kind of the way things are but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it the big thumbs up hit subscribe if you are new here and i'll see you guys in the next video